You're taking a live look at Lake Mendota, and right now the Madison Metropolitan Sewerage District is assessing what it could have done to prevent a wastewater spill. A broken valve released tens of thousands of gallons of raw sewage into the lake. JT Saskowski has you covered on the questions water quality advocates are asking. This is the spillway near the intersections of University and Baker Avenues in Madison, and it was down this spillway that 34,000 gallons of raw sewage flowed into Lake Mendota. And it's left water quality advocates asking the Madison Metropolitan Sewage District how fast it responded and what, if anything, it could have done differently. A broken valve caused the spill Thursday. Crews from the Madison Metropolitan Sewage District were working to replace the aging part. James Ty is the executive director of Clean Lakes Alliance. His organization met with the district Tuesday to ask some important questions. Well, we're really excited for them to give a presentation today on the timing of the incident, how much went in there, maybe a little bit more of like what was in it, and also how quickly they uh, reported it, which is really exciting, and the transparency they're providing the entire community. Eric Dundee is the principal engineer with the sewage district. He says that district workers are asking themselves some of the same questions. So what we do is an after action review. So we will do that as an internal staff to walk through the steps of how we planned the project, how we're going to you know, try to do better or avoid you know, this situation in the future. One homeowner near the spill told 27 News that he had sewage get into his basement. He was pushing the district to help him with the cleanup. Two homes were impacted by the spill. Representatives for the sewage district told me several times that they remain committed to protecting the environment and they take their responsibility seriously. In Madison, JT Saskowski, 27 News.